Welcome back for the watermelon cucumber cooler that we're gonna be making today. Yes, you and I are gonna sit down and make a delicious watermelon cocktail. I don't think I've done anything with watermelon on the channel before, I don't know why, because I freaking love watermelon. And this shit is delicious, this cocktail. And it's a great example of making your own signature cocktail. So essentially this is a gin sour with a couple of tweaks, which makes it its own unique drink. Uh, I'm gonna jump straight in um, and start mixing the cocktail. So this has got muddled cucumber in it with, so I'm gonna do that first, obviously, throw in the cucumber, and then uh, the recipe calls for a cane syrup. My only problem with this is the cane syrup is incredibly dark, and the drink is probably gonna be a little bit brown rather than this nice pinky watermelon kind of color. But I'll soon find out. Otherwise, you could always use a one-to-one -one, uh, simple syrup, completely up to you. 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of a two to one cane syrup, fair bit of sugar, I know. So this drink was made by Kenta Goto uh, from Bar Goto in New York City. Apparently uh, in Japan, they, they often sprinkle salt on watermelon to accentuate the flavors. Um, and this recipe includes a wasabi salt. So I'm gonna give that a little crack later on, sprinkle some wasabi salt on the watermelon and see how good it is. So light muddle, the cucumber and sugar, and then we're gonna mix up 60 mil, two ounces of gin, your choice. Um, I think the root celery gin, so a savory style gin, is gonna pair nicely with the wasabi. So two ounces. And then citrus, and it's split between lemon and lime. 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. So 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce, even split of lemon and lime juice. I know that's probably not exactly even, but yeah. You know what I'm doing. And lastly, just that pinch of wasabi salt. I couldn't source any wasabi salt, so I've just made my own by uh, basically using a mortar and pestle to crush up wasabi peas with salt. Actually tastes really good. Because it's wasabi peas, it's not too, too spicy. It's just nice. Adding a bit of ice and shaking for 10 to 12 seconds. Make sure you double strain because uh, obviously we've got that muddled cucumber in there. And some of you might be saying, hey, wait up, Steve, but you forgot the watermelon. No, I didn't. The recipe actually calls for adding it afterwards, which was, uh, I don't know why. See what I mean about the cane syrup? It's uh, kind of brown. And then 30 mil, one ounce of freshly pressed watermelon juice. I think it needs a little bit more, but yeah, a little touch more. And then stir. See what I mean about the color? Like the, the cane syrup makes it kind of brownie. I'm gonna add a little bit more water, watermelon. Just a touch, just to top it up. But Steve, you're not following the recipe. That's okay. It's got cucumber in the drink. Got a little sliver of cucumber. Of course, you can add um, more wasabi salt onto that cucumber. You could add a slice of watermelon if you want. Completely up to you. Cheers. Oh, that is bloody delicious. So good. Get a hint of that wasabi, a little bit of spiciness, but uh, the watermelon actually stands up like quite a lot. And it's, uh, normally in drinks, it's like, it's quite watery and the, the flavor doesn't come through, but this works really, really nicely. Watermelon, wasabi, salt, and cucumber go hand in hand really, really well. And of course, Test out this salt, wasabi salt on watermelon. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not as good as this cocktail though. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go check out the Mahino variations right here. Cheers.